Let's follow the path of Dusty's Trail, oh, Dusty's Trail, Dusty's Trail. A stage and a wagon are heading west, part of a wagon train lost from the rest. Dusty's the reason for their plight, thanks to Dusty, nothing's right. Only the wagon master's hand keeps them a rolling through the promised land. All oh, the going gets mighty rough, but they don't seem to mind. It's California, A, eh? that's the place they must find. Deserts and rocks are in their way, but they won't stop, come what may. Mountains and hills that they must scale, but they know they'll make it cause they just can't fail on Dusty's Trail. Wonder how old mom is. Well, I wonder where everybody is. Where is everyone? I don't know. It looks to me like we found ourselves a ghost town. I think one of them is trying to tell us something. A ghost town. Yeah. I don't like it. Got a feeling somebody's behind me, breathing hot and heavy down my neck. There is, Callahan. <laughs> Dusty! I told you to stay close, not that close. Hey, Mr. Callahan, you know, this place is in pretty good shape for a ghost town. I don't think we're as alone here as we think. You feel that too, huh? Feel what? Well, I got... Well, like somebody's watching us. Listen, I'll tell you what. You and Mr. Brookhaven scout the north side of the street. Dusty and I'll take the south side. You ladies, you stay right here by this wagon. Yeah, look, if something scares you while we're away, you just fire a shot. We'll come running. Hey. What are you shooting at? I'm just testing. Look, wait till I tell you, huh? Come on. And you know this town hasn't been deserted very long. Look at the blacksmith's forge. The coals are still hot. Yeah. I don't see any horses. Oh, perhaps they all went off in a fox hunt. <laughs> I don't know. There's something mysterious going on. Maybe the barber shop will tell us something. You want to come with me? No. Do you want to stay here? No. Where would you like to be? Back in Boston. <laughs> Someone's staring at us. I can just feel it. So can I. But then I kind of like being stared at. It does seem odd. Yet there's no one in town to do the staring. There's some clothes up there on the clothesline. Everybody must have left in a hurry. Yeah. They must have cleared out faster than the Gold Nugget Saloon the night Two Ton Tilly tried to do the belly dance. Scare the women, but I smell some trouble up ahead. Now you you stay close and tell them my back, all right? Okay, okay. Dusty. I said cover my back, not get glued to it. Now come on, I want to check out that saloon up there. Hey, you see that? 
Well, maybe it's only the wind. Maybe somebody in there waiting for us. It's the wind. I'm sure it's the wind. I've never been so sure of anything in my whole life that it's the wind. Why? Because I don't want to go in there and find out it's not the wind. Let's go. Huh? No, I'll go check out the saloon. I, I just remembered. I'm a miner. I'm not allowed. All right, little pal. You stay out here. I'll check the saloon. You're not going to leave me out here in the street alone. Oh, no. I'll go, I'll go in and check. Oh. Well, what's the matter? What'd you see? The dance hall hostess. Well, dance hall hostess. Let's go talk no. to her. Me, she's the ugliest woman I've ever seen in my whole life. She's got a big nose and her hair's going out of her head like horns, and her eyes are all glassy and beady and red, and her skin is all kind of... That's not a dance hall hostess. Look again. It's a moose head. Yeah, a moose head. I wonder how fast he was going when he hit that wall. It... What took you so long in the barber shop? I made an interesting discovery. Found a pair of boots, a pair of pants, and a pair of socks. Do you know what that means? Certainly some cowhand was having his legs shaved. It means that somebody left the shop in too much of a hurry to even dress. Judging by the quality of his trousers, I guess he rushed off to shoot his tailor. I've got a feeling it's all part of the same mystery. Let's go over to the newspaper office. Maybe the last edition of the paper will give us a clue. Good. Maybe they'll have a stock market report. Come along. It's so dark in here. I wish we had a lantern or something. Maybe there's something behind the bar. Well? Oh. Hey, I found a candle. Hey, good little pal. Here, let me light it for you. Well, now we can see what's what. I can see the saloon and the tables and the gunpowder. What gunpowder? What, this whole bar is stacked with gunpowder. Why would a saloon be full of gunpowder? I don't know. Hold that candle down here so I can say. Uh, uh, Dusty? Hmm? That's not a candle. Sure it is. You just said it was. Why would you lie? No, no, that, that's not a candle. Uh, that is a st stick of uh, gunpowder. That's why you uh, wouldn't lie, because it's a stick of uh, gunpowder. Uh, 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 well, what, what, what are we going to do with it? Throw it, throw it out the window. Uh, no, if I throw it out the window, I'll break the window. No, please, for peace's uh, sake, throw it out the window, Dusty. Uh, uh, Dusty, get down! You can get up now, little pal. I said, I said you can get up now, Dusty. What's the matter? Didn't you hear me? Uh, didn't you hear me? Huh? Oh, you know how they say when you're going to die, your whole life passes right in front of you? Yeah. Mine was only half done. You know, it's really interesting. Hey, that sounds like a trouble signal. Let's go. So far, but I wouldn't count on our future. We found the reason the town people deserted. It's right here in this newspaper. Oh, I'll take one. <laughs> here, keep the change. What? Scholar Brothers, outlaws. I never heard of them. It says here they're armed bank robbers and murderers. Perhaps they had an unpleasant childhood. Daphne sees good in everyone. Well, the scholars threatened to come back to town and kill everyone. They didn't give them all their money and their valuables. Yeah, it's plain as nose on your face, just a case of blackmail. So, the whole lily-livered town took a powder. I think the townspeople were wise to run, especially the wealthy ones. And I happen to be a member of that club. Come along, Daphne. Now, wait a minute. Everybody just simmer down. By the way, I see it. They've already come and gone. They saw the town was empty, and they just took off. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> well, it's not absolute. <laughs> Dusty's chasing him. No, no, Dusty's not chasing him. He's passing them. All right, you girls in the wagon. Come on, you men. Oh, 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 oh. Thought you'd be halfway to California by now. I suddenly realized it was my job to help you protect everybody, uh, especially me. It, Mr. Callahan. The Skullners obviously believe that we are citizens of this town. Now, I think we should let them know that we're perfect strangers. I think they'd let us go. And yeah, with their record, I don't think they'd buy that. Nevertheless, I would like to inform them who we are. Oh, please, be my guest, yes. I say out there, 
We are perfect strangers. We are perfect strangers. Well, I guess they figure nobody can be perfect, huh? Yeah. Hey, wait. Come here. Didn't you see what just happened to Mr. Brookhaven? Well, well, yes, sir, but the scholars aren't animals. I'm sure they'd recognize the white flag of truce. What makes you think so? Well, it happens to be the code of the West. Yeah, the code of the West. Huh? Oh, there yeah. it is. Maybe the code of the East. Hmm? Those scholars haven't fired at us for quite a while. Maybe they're out of bullets. Somehow I don't think so. Hey, Mr. Callahan, one of the scholars is riding right for us. We got a visitor, but that ain't one of the scholars. Come on. Hey. The scarecrow. Whoa, whoa. Hey, baby, hold on. Hold yeah. on there now a minute. A dead scarecrow. Look at that knife. Yeah, it's holding a message. Yeah. Ooh, I hate the sight of blood, even if it's straw. We have the town surrounded. Fork over all your gold and stuff by sunup or we'll burn you out. They're bluffing, of course. And if you think we're bluffing, you're a bigger dummy than the one on the jackass. Well, we still got a problem, but at least we're safer in here than we are out on that street. Where do we go from here, Mr. Callahan? We don't go any place. Too dangerous out there. Impossible. How can three men surround a town? Because they got a lot of guns. Besides, they got the only road out of here blocked. I do not believe those ruffians realize they are jeopardizing the lives of women. Mrs. Brookhaven, the Scholar Brothers do not care about women, men, children, pets, or anything else. Lulu? Betsy? I think it's time we stepped in. At a girl, Mrs. V. I'm with you. Me too, Mrs. Brookhaven. Daphne, dear. Not now, Carter. Good heavens, just like a mother. Mrs. Brookhaven, as your wagon master, I cannot permit... Stand aside, Mr. Callahan. Take my hand, girl. I think it's time we showed these men what women can do. Mrs. B, you've got more sand in your little craw than a Gila monster with a long neck. Thank you. Wait, wait a minute. That, have you all lost your minds? I mean, those Skullner brothers will show no mercy. They would never dare shoot a woman. Only a bounder or a cad would entertain such a notion. Well, I cannot... Pr <laughs> hey! Two bounders and a cad out there. Guess you better change. Daphne, cover up your pantaloons. If anyone should see you like that, we'd be drummed right out of the country club. You know, it's no use. They've got us covered so tight, it'd take an army to penetrate their position. Army? Andy? Hmm? Ah, that's the answer. Yeah, army, that's the answer. Well, what is the question? Fort Hotchkiss. It's, it's just over the hill there. If one of us could get up over those rocks, we could get some help. We can draw straws to see who goes. No, no, I'm the wagon master. I should be the one to do this. I still think we should draw straws. The straw. Oh, 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 yeah, Andy. Straws, that's the answer. Yeah, straws, that's the answer, but I still know the uh, question. No, I'll explain. Uh, you look great, Mr. Callahan. Mm. Thank you, Dusty. By the time the Skullner brothers figure out you're not a scarecrow, you'll be on your way to Fort Hotchkiss. Uh, they'll never give me a second look. <laughs> Neither will a crow. <coughs> Only trouble is this stuff makes you want to sneeze. Whatever you do, don't sneeze. No, if you sneeze, you're a dead man. All right. Wish me luck. Luck, luck. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> Our wagon master is a very brave man. Oh, I'd say he's braver than that. I'd say he's a very, very brave man. To show my appreciation, in case Mr. Callahan is killed in this attempt to save our lives, I intend to raise his salary. Woo-wee! Ain't we gonna have us some fun? Them town folks is pinned down as cold as a dead carp in February. <laughs> We're gonna get all their gold and burn them all down, too. Yeah, we is. Something's headed this way. 
Hey, save your bullets, Luke. It's only that old jackass we set up. Them folks are so scared they can't even hang on to a straw man on a swayback mule. <laughs> <laughs> Right, little lady. Let's move on. Put one foot in front of the other there. Now, that scarecrow looks a little different. If you ask me, it looks like his nose has grown a mite. Well, let's just see which one of us can shoot it flat again. Come on, let's... Let's... Hey, that ain't no scarecrow. That's a real dummy. Let him have it, boys. <laughs> Barney and good old Freckles. They came back and the rest of the horses followed them. Yeah, that ought to do it. Is this a great idea, Mr. Callahan? Yeah, I've used that trick before. All that stuff on the wheels keep nice and quiet. We'll be able to sneak out of town real easy. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong? Yeah, it sure feels funny looking at my bustle on a different caboose. Yeah, now we got those wagon wheels all silenced so all of you can get out of here without any trouble. All of it? Oh, Mr. Callahan, aren't you going with us? Uh, no, no, no. I got a plan. I'm going to stay here and keep those Skullner boys. Oh, no, you're you know? not. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I'm your wagon master. I made up my mind. I can't let you do it. I can't let you face them alone. I hardly agree with Dusty. Perhaps the lad should stay with you. No, no. Dusty has got to scout the trail, take care of the animals. Uh, hey, look. You know that big tall mountain over there, north northwest? You head him right toward that. Uh, north by northwest. Uh, north north. Yeah, well, you're quite a guy, Cal. And when I open up Lulu's saloon, I'm, I'm going to name a drink after you. Now, you just make sure it's a tall one and don't put in too much water. <laughs> Dang, that's all right. I've learned a lot from you, Callahan. Okay. I'm okay. You're a real wagon master. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, Mr. Callahan, I know we'll see you soon. Yeah, of course you will. Good. Run along, baby. Mr. Callahan, all of Mr. Brookhaven's money couldn't pay you for what you're about to do. Oh, what you said. But you know, Mr. Callahan, he's quite right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Mr. Brookhaven, Mr. Brookhaven. Uh, is there anything I can do to help you before I leave? Uh, yeah. Why don't we see if all the weapons are loaded, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Winchester, 44. Yeah. Check. Single barrel. Check. Double barrel. Check. Ah! Ah! Oh! oh. Ah! Ah! Listen, I'll, I'll get a bandage behind the bar for you. All right. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! oh. Oh, 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 no, Dusty. Well, it's all up to you now, Andy. I'm sorry, but, there's, you know, there's nothing like... Well, you've done all you can. How did the accident happen? Well, uh... Oh, it's all my dumb fault. You no, know, we got this one caught in the, the breach of that shotgun. There. That wasn't the dumb thing. The real dumb thing was he, he had his hand on the bar like this, you know, and I went in to get a bandage. I took a killer top like that and went... Yeah! Well, I'll tell you one thing, that just about settles our hash. We've got to have faith, Mr. Callahan. There's got to be a way to stop the Skullner brothers. Yeah, maybe if Bat Masterson rode into town. He's... Yeah, Bat Masterson could do it. He was a little guy like me. When those bad guys saw him with that cane, they ran for their lives. Lulu? I'm way ahead of you, Cal. I'm gonna go get my makeup kit. Folks, meet Bat Masterson. <laughs> Yeah, spit an image. <laughs> there you go, one of Mr. Brookhaven's very best. Yeah. Listen. Oh, are you sure I look enough like Bat and Masses and the Fool of Skullner Brothers? Yeah, well, if you just look a little tougher, you know. Like you mean business. Yeah, now, now you're getting it. Come on. Ah, oh, that's it, that's, that's it. That's perfect, Dusty. Take a look. It's sun up, Mr. Callahan. Skullners will be heading this way any minute. All right, now you just go out there and face them. And if I got this figured right, there won't even be any gunplay. We'll have you covered from here as best we can. I guess this is it. <laughs> Poor Dusty. We may never see him again. Yes, you will, honey. That's your closet. <laughs>
Masterson. What's Bat Masterson doing here? Let's go see. The scholars have dismounted. They're coming after him. Hey, we better get ready to protect them. Hey. Sonny ain't twirled his cane yet. That's Bat Masterson, all right. We give up, Bat. Hey, Andy, you hog tie them critters good and tight. Say, Dusty, that was a pretty good thing you done there with that cane. How'd you do that? Easy, Mr. Galley. And all I did was just take it like this, and I threw it in the air, and then I waited uh, for it to come down. Thank you.